it's been a bit of a free flow in our Masters race, but we expected that. Elite category one, two, three, a lot of national and world champions. Current or former are out there trying their hand at Oh, all that together again, they pulled the, uh, the elastic back. Yeah, the uh, typical elastic back, so they just said, you know what? No, but. So now it's light speed. BMW have decided they're going to try their hand at this. into a cracker of a race here. Here comes your Jaguar presented to you by Hennessy. dropped everybody. A little quick on the draw there. Well, pick out your favorite racer and give them a scream. These guys are back to neutral, guys. They've neutralized each other and now it's a back to fight another lap. Everybody's trying to find a sweet spot right now. Everybody's kind of surfing the front, so to speak. right now. Our women's race is probably going to be about 15 to 20 minutes late. Pace motor and it is. Who's going to make that move that shreds this race as our Masters field comes to the finish line?
there goes your Hennessy Jaguar. These guys are getting close to needing to flip over the laps right now. At 6.73, trying to take to the front. As Case Sakai's doing your man's work. guys are halfway through the bike race. Scheduled 45 minute round. Guys, you're about halfway through the race, halfway through the race. Like everybody's trying to keep this thing somewhat on lockdown. We are halfway through our Masters Elite race. Check one two. I've been trying to figure it out all day. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to. Yep. yep. Welcome to Roswell Bicycles Historic Roswell Crit. We're in the Masters race. These guys are closing in. They've already gone past halfway. And also want to thank Fried Pickle for hooking us up a little bit. And here comes your men's peloton, the Masters race. Looks like we've got some counterattacks starting to roll. It's on number 839 there. Brad Parkinson. So Brad Parkinson is now attacked. I also want to thank our great sponsors. I am 
and the blue. Do a little sound check here. It's got no. Check, check, one, two. One, two, check, check. One, two, check, check. Watch out for that right there. So that's good right there. Thank you, Jamie. So we're well over halfway in our Masters 1, 2, 3 race. I'm sure we got a couple Category 4 riders a little bit, but most of these riders are going to be Masters 1, 2, 3 racers, which are the elite. A lot of them are probably former national champions or some of the pro cyclists. Well, this is a dangerous route right here. Like Parkinson there, tagged on the back. That is going to be Marquez. So Leonardo Marquez is right there. Look like Kurt Port there. And Damian Dunn. Two more riders trying to spring. A fifth rider's trying to go. And everybody's staring at everybody in that group right there. Women's race is uh, just running just a little bit behind here. Again, we are running just a few minutes late on our ladies' race, but we'll uh, make sure that we get on terms here. As we get further into the day, Closing in right now again on one, two, check, check, one, two, one, two, check, check, one, two, check, check. And here comes your peloton. Check, check. So All right, these these ladies are going to see five laps left to go here. Excuse me, these men are going to see five laps left to go. Then we're going to get into the the women's race. So we have five laps left to go. Yep. 
everybody seems to be sitting up here. I can't quite figure out exactly what these guys may be doing. We've got five laps left to go, guys. Five to go. Five to go, five to go, five to go, and they're measuring. And you've got Marquez with Brad Parkerson. And I think they're happy with this, unless Parkerson is not happy with Marquez's ability to be able to sprint. And gentlemen, you have five to go. Five to go. Five laps left to go. Five laps left to go. Five to go. Five to go. We got an update from our official last night. He was kind of thrown under the ruckus as well during that crash. So uh, Bill is actually recovering. The doctor says it's going to be about six weeks. He wishes he could be here. He was the chief official, but. Uh, hey, Jamie. This one is like flatline. And here comes your Jaguar pace car. I want to thank Hennessy very much for providing those pace cars for us today. A good-looking ride there. These guys are looking around. I do not know what's going on. With four laps left to go, and they seem to be uh, four to go, guys. Four to go. Seems like they want to get caught. They are going to get caught. Four to go, guys. Four laps left to go. So you got four laps left to go here in. Ooh, I think you found the right one, Jamie. So we've got a um, couple riders up the road. A1, I can't give you any more. I'm one, two, check, check. One, two, check, check. Test one, test two. Test one, two, three, four. Test, test. One, two. One, two. Check, check. One, two. One, two. Check. Test one. All right, there's your two leaders right there, guys. You're coming under three laps to go. Left to go. So there's going to be a nice little fight here at the end of the race. Seems going to pick up the win for our Masters field. And guys, here's the field right here. You have three to go. Three to go. Three down, 
minutes left to go. Check, check, one, two. One, two. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. I'm sure you guys would rather. We can even hard wire it. Is it two to go? We've got two laps left to go here. Two to go, guys. Two more laps. Two to go, two to go, two to go, two to go. Two to go, two to go. Two to go, two to go, two to go. And these guys are going to see one lap left to go here. It's the final lap of our men's masters race. Our category one, two, three. Throwing a couple fours there. All right, we're going to come around. They're going to be ringing the bell for one lap left to go here in our Masters 1 2 3 race. Women's race is just a few minutes behind, not too bad. All right, guys, you're going to have one to go. One lap left to go. One to go, one to go, one to go. Parkerson is there with Marquez. Can they fight it off right here? Jim, you have one to go, guys. One to go, one to go. One lap to go. One to go, one to go, one to go. Looks like a lot of the sprinters are starting to stretch their legs and make their way to the front. Gentlemen, you have one to go, one to go. Check. One lap left to go. Check. 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 Test, test, test. Got one to go, one to go, one to go.
so the... Uh, I mean, here comes the... Uh, it's going to be a two-up battle. Ah, so a nice little post right there. Course is still closed. Course is still closed. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Check, check. One, two, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Check, check. Testing, testing, one, two. One, two. Check, check, one, two. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Check, check. One, two. One, two, three. Check, check. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three. Check, check. Check, check. One, two, three. All right, so the individual one, I've got Chad on... Jump, one, two, check, check. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it, it jumps, it goes. Testing, one, two, three. Okay, I got it. One, two, three. This is the Roswell Quit. Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the women's race coming up. Just a few moments. Do a couple administration things, and then we'll be back-to-back -back racing here in just a second. I don't know. Stream A2. Okay. Leave the, body, leave the main one up, but bring Chad. Chad check, almost check. non existent. One, two, one, two. Check, check. Do a little sound check here for our live stream, ladies and gentlemen. As we get ready to get started here for the 2014 historic Roswell Crit Women's Professional Race. One, two. One, two, three. Check, check. One, two, three. Check, check. One, two. One, two. Okay. Best. 
One, two, one, two. Check, check. Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to historic Roswell. We're getting ready to start with our women's race here in just a few minutes. Look at that great looking pace car from our good friends at Hennessy Porsche. Look at the rush to the line as these ladies. Are all fighting to, for their spots and let's go ahead and. Check, check, one, two. One, two, check, check. One, two, check, check. Testing, one, two. One, two, check, check. We're gonna go ahead and recognize a few of our ladies today. Again, ladies, thanks a lot for your Patience getting our women's professional bike race started. Currently right now in ninth overall in the U.S. Secret Speed Week is Vanessa Drigo. Vanessa, where are you? Wave to everyone. There she is. That was a quick little wave. And if you guys want to stay where you are, you can. I mean, this is casual Sunday here. And so in ninth place overall racing for CRFCA stands O2 is it's Tracy Cameron. Where's Tracy? There's Tracy. In ninth. Woo! Currently in eighth overall racing for Fearless Femme, presented by PEC Valley 13, Teresa Cliff Ryan. Where's Teresa? There's Teresa back in the back. In seventh place overall racing for Mellow Mushroom Pink Siren Sports, and uh, your overall lap leader, Laura Jorgensen. Where's Laura? There's Laura. You can stay there. You can go up there. I'll let you choose. She's like, I'll go up there. All right, so Laura's coming through. In sixth place overall racing for Team Nova Nordisk is Morton, Morgan Patton Brown. Morgan Brown, you gonna stay there, Morgan? It's up to you. <laughs> okay. In fifth place overall, race over pain pathway, Cynthia Lenner. Where's Cynthia? Cynthia's not registered today, so she falls out of fifth. In fourth place overall, race over Vanda Kitten is Liza Rachetto. Where's Liza? There she is. In third place overall, race for Pepper Palace Pro Cycling, Christy Keeley. Where's Christy? I know who you are, but not everybody else does. There goes Christy in second place overall racing for Team Tibco to the top. And your best young rider so far is Sam Schneider. And there goes Sam up on the left. And your current overall leader, last night's champion, ladies and gentlemen, racing for Fearless Femme, Tina Pick. Where's Tina? There she is. <laughs> so that's it, ladies. We are doing... 50 minutes, 50 minutes. 
Once we get a lapse, I'll let you know if there's a time gap up the road. I'll let you know if there is any incidents. If you are out of contention, you may be pulled. Make sure you thank the great folks here at uh, Roswell and, of course, our great friends and all of our great sponsors here. It's going to be a lights-out women's race. If it's anything like last night's, put your seatbelt on. All right, so timers, are you ready? I guess we're ready to go. You ready, Joe? Here they go. All right, there goes our women. $200 preem on the first lap. $200 preem. $200 preem. So the first rider to cross the finish line on the next lap is going to get $200. Compliments of our good friends of Roswell. Again, we want to thank Roswell Bicycles Giants Specialized. Zip, Pro Gold, Tafosi, Villiers, Yakima. Of course, our good friends at Roswell Bicycles. We are now up and racing here in beautiful Roswell. For those of you who have joined us, if the live feed is up and running, Welcome to Roswell. We've got a lot of gas left in the tank, folks. We were in Athens last night. Today we're in Roswell. And we should see the pace car come through. And our pace car this time is a red Jaguar. Compliments our good friends at Hennessy. Automobiles. This first lap is worth two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars to the rider that crosses the line first, otherwise known as a preem. One mile is our course here in historic Roswell. And let's see how the fight goes. A preem is a race inside of a race to so the first rider to cross the finish line. It's getting to get herself some cash, and if she's on a team, they'll split it. And Morgan Brown up on the left-hand side, scrambling. It looks like we've got Fearless Femme. Is that TCR? There comes Laura Van Gilder on the right. And it looks like Laura's going to take the cash and pocket it and keep rolling. And she takes out Cheryl Fuller-Muller. <laughs> Holy moly, this first lap is crackling. So Laura Van Gilder probably rec racing with demons inside today. Why is that? Laura's one of Laura's favorite races. She flatted out with three laps left to go last night. Not a happy camper. Not a happy camper. So Laura Van Gilder. Picks up the $200 from Historic Roswell. And again, for those of you who are watching us on the live stream, you are in Historic Roswell. It's a little, it's a suburb outside of Atlanta. There's all sorts of great little towns and districts in the around in and around atlanta yeah, sandy springs roswell and all these are old established communities with great great restaurants and bars and family relation uh family fun so it's a fantastic place to live and a great place to put on a bike race we call it the antithesis to athens twilight only because it was raucous and crazy like a rock concert Today is more like sitting around on a lawn chair, having a martini or a nice cold lemonade and enjoying bike racing. So Laura Van Gilder was the first rider to strike out. We're going to see if she's going to maintain her aggressiveness. Sprinters teams are the teams that are going to be looking to try to keep this thing together, whereas other teams that have opportunists, they're going to be looking to try to get away. 
They're barrier to barrier right now. Fearless Fem striking on the front right now. Looking for position. Fearless Femme has changed their cycling kit to a little bit more brighter orange this year. One was going to guess that the most of the kind of the infighting, which is a positive term in this sport, is going to happen between, say, Fearless Femme, Pepper Palace, Team Tibco. Mellow Mushroom. Of course, we're asking you guys to join the 24 Hours of Booty coming up this October. Cancer Awareness, the 24 Hours of Booty here in Atlanta. So join those guys October 4th and 5th. And again, as a reminder, the women are going to be racing for 50 minutes, just a few minutes shy. We do have some time constraints here in Roswell. So we want to make sure we get all, all great racing in as our Jaguar blinking lights and all is now coming through the home stretch. Still right now, it's more of a fight for position. And it looks like Julie Kulieska is going to pick up one point for leading the last lap. So Kulieska is going to get one point for leading the last lap. How do you get points? You get a point for leading the lap. You get points for our mid-race preems. The leader of the last lap was Julie Kulieska. I was asked by the officials, but I do not know her number. I only see faces and figures. I don't see numbers. I do not have a list in front of me. All right, guys, so we are going to ring the bell for a points preem and cash. Points preem, and the winner of the lap gets cash. Points preem and cash. Points preem and cash for the winner of the next lap. Points preem and cash for the winner of the next lap. So 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2 points. That goes to your overall total in the USA Crit Speed Week. Then on top of that, whoever wins the lap gets $75.
Compliments of our great friends at Hennessy. All right, so there you go, Jamie. Perfect. Thank you, sir. So right now, right now we're going to see a battle for our cash, $75. And the first rider across the line is going to get 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2. Look for these names. Tina Pick, Meg, and Sam Schneider. I even told Christy Keeley, go after a preem, and on top of that, try to get some cash to try to feel out the sprint here. What sprinters do is they'll go after a preem, which is a race inside of a race, they'll use that to kind of measure the gearing and the speed that they'll need to potentially win the race. So let's see if maybe if the Red Rocket, Christy Keeley uh, from Pepper Palace, tries to go after it. I guarantee you Laura Van Gilder is going to go. I also bet you Sam Schneider and Liza Ricchetto, you get points. And there's 10 on the line right here. Whoever has the most points at the end of the week, it's going to be crowned Speed Week Champion. All right, so here they come. Here comes your Red Jaguar. This is going to be a full-on sprint. You can see they're already starting to wind it up right now. Straight up the gut. And who's going to grab the points? And the cash. It looks like, did I not predict that or what? <laughs> that was Christy Keeley. Pepper Palace. So Christy's going to pick up the cash and the 10 points. And that's going to move Christy up. I'd have to check with Kay. Maybe I'll. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess who that was, but I have to confirm with Kay over here to make sure that I'm right on that. I'm gonna go with that. So that was for a points preem, ten, seven, five, three, and two. All right, we're going to keep, we're going to be ringing the bell because the sponsors here are good friends from Roswell Bikes and Mavic. Giant Specialized Yakima Zip. All these guys contributing to the race today. We're going to have to ring the bell again for another preem. And how much is this one for, Meg? $75 cash preem. Compliments of our good friends at Hennessy and the Fickle Pickle. There comes, there comes, here comes your red Jaguar pace car. And it's a little stretched out right now. But we're going to have to ring the bell. We're going to have to agitate a little bit more. Another preem on the lap. $75 cash preem on the next lap. $75 cash preem for the winner of the next lap. $75 cash preem for the winner of the next lap. $75 cash preem for the winner of the next lap. And if you're stranded on the back and finding yourself in a bit of difficulty, the last thing you want to hear is Meg ring that, pal that cowbell indicating that we're add adding a little bit of fuel to the fire. A preem agitates the peloton, which is known as the cycling group. And it happens to speed up the race just a little bit more. Well, we've got plenty more where that's coming from. And for those of you that are watching on the live feed, welcome to Roswell. Stop number two of the USA Crits Speed Week, which is 
constitutes uh, today and yesterday in Athens. A couple days off, then we go to Walterboro. Then on Friday, we're in Spartanburg, and Saturday, we're in Gaffney, South Carolina, right up close to the Blue Ridge, actually more towards the foothills. So uh, a terrain change for sure. Walterboro is dead flat. Where we head to Gaffney and Spartanburg, it's got a little bit of a pitch to it, although the race courses themselves are not that bumpy. We are going to do a new Belgium $75 cash premium on this next lap. $75 cash premium on the next lap. $75 cash premium. $75 cash premium for the winner of the next lap. $75 cash premium from New Belgium. And now Teresa Cliff Ryan has now gone over the top. A little backdrop to Teresa, TCR. Teresa is a accomplished athlete. I think that would be an understatement. Teresa, I think she's 19 times inline skating world champion. Well, if that's not enough, she decided to get into bike racing and she won multiple national criterium championships. And if that's not enough, she tried to qualify for the Olympics in speed skating on the ice. And she was just about ready to make the short team and she was watching on the side and she was watching practice happen on the ice during the Olympics prep, and she was hit by somebody on the ice, and it knocked her out of the potential Olympic spot. So she recovered and decided to come back to bike racing. <laughs> Amazing. She is a robot. I think we're going to do another $75 cash from that young lady over there across the street. <laughs> We've got the money, honey. You just don't have to worry about it. Just sit there and smile. Say, yep, I am contributing to bike racing, women's bike racing here in Roswell. <laughs> I tell you what, these women better have come with a large bank account opened because we are going to have to premium them back to back to back That's because we have so much money we have to get away. Somebody's going to grab this one and we're going to ring the bell again. $75 cash premium. $75 cash premium. $75 cash premium for the winner of the next lap. $75 cash premium for the winner of the next lap. 75 guys, $75 cash premium. There's no relaxation right now. None. So Meg Rocks of Swagger has just told me that on the next lap, we're going to do the mid-race preem, which is another 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2 points, and cash, which is 1 million, 2 million, and, oh, sorry, 125, 75, and 50. That's a mouthful to get out. Mid-race preem, 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2, and then on top of that, you've got 125, 75, and 50. All at the same time, they're going 30 miles an hour the other way. Tell you what, if the, if these guys' legs are tired, we have not afforded them the opportunity to be able to rest. 
Not to say that they would, but if that was an option for them, these preems keep the pressure on. Guys is a universal term I use. Ask anybody who listened to my commentary. That's a universal term for me. These women who are professional bike racers. Well, we're going to shake it up a little bit more. Mid-race preem, points and cash. Mid-race preem, points and cash. 125, 75, and 50 for the top three. So 125, 75, and 50 points, respectively. And 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2 points. So again, let's go over those names that we should be looking for that's going to be going after this. Your top people, your top women in the race that have sprint, that proved last night that they have a good sprint. It's going to be Tina Pick, Sam Schneider, Christy Keeley, Morgan Patton Brown, Teresa Cliff Ryan, and Laura Van Gilder. You got to throw her back into the mix, even though she had a flat with three laps to go last night. She is one of the better sprinters in our women's field. Jaguar coming through. This is for 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2 points. Look at this wind up right now. And it looks like Red Rocket's going to get it. Keeley's going to get maximum points and cash. So Christy is measuring right now, and she's got 10, 20 points. I think that just may have her crawling up in the overall right now. I'll have to double check with Kay once he gets stable over there. So here comes your pace car right now. And here they come. Oh, we've got a little bit of a breakaway here, ladies and gentlemen. A dangerous move is now starting to roll. It looks like Jorgensen's on the top. Another Prem on the next lap. Prem on the next lap. Prem on the next lap. Pre. Tina Pick's trying to go. Christina Gogi smith The Schneiders are trying to go. So that's a dangerous move with Jorgensen. And, of course, you had... Uh, 
Looked like Laura Van Gilder was also there, so a lot of the major teams were not there, were involved. And just, this is a public service announcement. I know you guys all have smartphones and whatnot or what have you, but just, you know, if you have a tent up, be cautious because we may have a couple storms rolling through. I'm not the bearer of bad news, but I'm actually the your local weatherman here just in the short term. So we potentially could be looking at some weather, so just be cognizant of that as we head into the next uh, 30 minutes or so. For those of you who are watching us on the live stream, you could probably pull up your your laptop or your phone or Droid or whatever and pinpoint Athens, I mean, excuse me, pinpoint Roswell and Atlanta area. It looks like there's a couple bumps in the road potentially, but we're going to try to keep things batters to right. That's due west over there, so we can kind of watch. For those of you who are watching on the live stream, we are facing here on the stage due west. You guys are going to be extremely dry if you're watching us on the live stream, unless you're out on your porch. Or you're not here. And, but I think we're going to be fine as we've got some great bike racing here to unfold the 2014 U.S. Secret Speed Week. So the breakaway has been absorbed. All right, so now this is for more cash. There's Laura Van Gilder on the left. All right, so Team Tipco, they've said they've had enough, and enough is enough. So you have the, if I can Ryan picking that up. So we have flipped past halfway. Oh, for those of you who are watching us on the live feed, yes, you did just see that. That, whatever that is. <laughs> Bike racing woogie, Chewbacca. I don't know, anybody? Class, anyone you know what that was? Maybe I'm sleep deprived and I just did not see that. <laughs> Oh, we've got a great beat rolling here. We've got a great look at pace car, too. Compliments our good friends at Hennessy Automobile Companies. All right, so there's your pace car. We should see our lead moto any second now. Looks like Finnish Strong Elite is on the front. And everybody kind of fighting for position right now. And the dust has settled just a tiny bit here.
Again, we have our men's race coming up after this. We thank you guys for showing up. For those of you on the live feed, this is stop number two of the USA Crit Speed Week. We have now transitioned to laps. And that's going to tell me you guys are getting a great shot there. We're going to do a 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2, and $100 for the winner of the lap. Excuse me, 75, sorry. 75, 100. What's $25 among friends? Here's a dynamic about a road that's been dry for a while and then gets a little bit of moisture on it. Thanks for crazy racing. But, you know, what would be different with U.S. Secret Speed Week? Crazy last night in Athens, and it's going to be crazy here today. Yeah. Probably a cracker of a race. Six, five, that's all the same. Six laps to go. But a perfect time to ring the bell for a point supreme. And here comes your lead moto. This is going to be for 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2, and $75 to the winner of the lap. Points preem and cash to the winner. Points preem and cash to the winner. Points preem and cash to the winner. 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2, and $75 to the winner of the lap. And these ladies, their elbows are super sharp today. Last night, they were pretty relaxed pretty much the whole race, but today it appears that everybody's elbows are staying sharp for the whole thing. All right, so remember, this is for 10, 7, 5, 3, and 2. Christy Keeley from Pepper Palace has gotten the last two preems and the cash. And I think she probably is going to make her way into the top two, potentially, with those points. We're going to have to tabulate that here at the end of the race. But she's got two times 10 is 20 points. Not exactly sure where she was points-wise, but we'll be on that pretty soon. They're going to be coming down, and it's going to be a cracker of a finish. Can somebody dethrone Christie from her points bonanza? And it looks like Goki Smith is taking a peek, looking to see if who's going to come around. And it does look like, no, Goki's going to unload it. And no, it's going to be close. And I think Tim Timko has now decided they're going to bring the fight to the fight. And Holly Matthews from Team Timko. Gets the maximum points, 10 points, and the cash. So good for Holly. She's going to, she was trying to protect her teammate, Sam Schneider, who's currently second overall.
Beautiful picturesque backdrop that is historic Roswell, Georgia, the site of the stop number two of the USA Kids, pardon me, the USA Crit Speed Week. I think I'm tongue tied after the past couple days. There's your pace car. So the free for all is going to begin. These guys are going to have four. Pardon me, these ladies. I know I got a, my universal term for everyone, but. Oh, so now we've had an intricate detail. Panic bells are going off. We're going to do another preem on the next lap. $75 cash preem. $75 cash preem. $75 cash preem on the next lap. $75 cash preem on the next lap. And Fiona Strouts for Vanderkitten has decided to take matters into her own right. So good to see Fiona on the attack, trying to break up the sprinters. She's got her teammate and Liza Ricchetto sitting high in the overall. Well, they're going to try to stack the top of the deck and get Fiona up the road to get maximum points. And we're going to go back to back to back, Jack. We've gone preem, preem. Then we're going to finish it off with a gambler preem. Why not? The scrappiness of Fiona Strouts just may have put mayhem into the bike race. We like mayhem. Yesterday was chaos. Today it'll be mayhem. Can Fiona hold off the field? You guys that are watching the live stream are getting a great view of what's unfolding here. All right, so Strouts was out there for the $75, and she's still holding on right now. Everybody else is going to have to chase except for Vanderkitten. $75 cash preem. Preem on the next lap, preem. Preem on the next lap, preem. $75 cash preem. $75 with three to go. Three laps to go, three to go, three to go, three to go. And now it looks like Pepper Palace and Team Tibco are now trying to bring this thing back together. Kulieska was the one to pull through and pull off. So now the teams that were not involved in the breakaway, and that's Pepper Palace in the red and green and blue of Team Tibco, decided, you know what, we better do our work here. Literally and figuratively, potentially, the calm before the storm. The women are getting ready to light up these last two laps. Fiona Strauss for Vanderkitten is being defiant. Can she hold up the other teams and their chase? Setting up for a very nice ending here.
Lest we forget for Tiffany Pezzulo, who has now made the ranks for Vayner Kitten. She has a great turn of speed as well. Laura Van Gilder, Tina Pick. Teresa Cliff Ryan, Christy Keeley has already shown that she can turn it over. Kendall Ryan, Sam Schneider. And we're going to just add insult to injury by throwing out a $200 gambler preem. You gamble that you go for it, you gamble for the win. And we are back together again. $200 gambler preem. $200, $200, $200 gambler preem. $200, $200, $200 gambler preem. Now all the teams are starting to surround their riders and their sprinters. You've got... Team Tipco surrounding Sam Schneider. You've got Mellow Mushroom surrounding Laura Van Gilder. You've got Fearless Femmes surrounding either Teresa or Tina Pick. You've got Pepper Palace trying to surround themselves around Christy Keeley. A battle of the colors that will now ensue with the Gambler Preem just offered. Everybody's getting a front view of the radar on my phone. <laughs> and what's a little color on a radar? <laughs> More importantly, what's a little color in our women's pro race? You get all the colors now starting to coalesce around each other. You've got the red of Pepper Palace, the blue and green of Team Tipco, the blue and purple of uh, Mellow Mushroom. Fearless Femme is in the bright orange. You can see Tina when she comes up. She's, she's like an orange rocket like last night. It was easy to pick out. Glad you guys got that. This is for the $200 Gambler Preem, and we are going to ring the bell for one to go. And here they come. Ladies and gentlemen, we have one lap to go, one to go, one to go, one to go, one to go. One lap left to go. And now trying to set up Tina Pick and Pepper Palace is trying to set up Christy Keeley with one lap left to go. Julie Kulieska taking her turn on the front. Amy is also there. She's the last lead out for Christy Keeley. And Tina Pick is set in second wheel for Fearless Femme in the orange. This is going to be a fun finish to watch. If it's blue, dark blue and green, that's Team Tipco. If it's orange, it's going to be Fearless Femme. If it's red, it's going to be Pepper Palace. Vander Kitten has got this funky little kitty on the front that's really cool. Second place. All right, so there. You should see our pace car any second now. It'll be taking the turn. Probably some nervous energy on the backside. I can guarantee you that much. There's your pace car. We are down to about 300 meters left in our women's elite race. They are going from a light year away as they start to unleash their sprint. It looks like Tipco. It looks like Pepper Palace. Fearless Fam. It looks like we've got Tina Pick on the left hand side. Your winner is going to be Tina Pick. <laughs> Tina Pick goes back to back, Jack. 
for Fearless Femme. Wowzers. What a great race by Tina and the Fearless Femme team. We are going to get a quick word with Tina here. So Tina Pick, defying age, coming up with another huge win here in her home court, her backyard. Uh, Jamie, if you're around, can I have you for just a second? What a race by Tina Pick. Tina picks up the win here. All right, so Tina picks up the win here. We're going to get a quick word with her. Potentially, we, <laughs> Mother Nature willing, we hope.
All right, so we're going to get a quick word here with Tina. Not sure where she is. I see her teammates, but I don't see Tina. She's talking. <gasps> we need to take her away from the state of Georgia to race. <laughs> There she is. Come on over here, Tina. Real quick, real quick. I don't, I don't want you to get wet. <laughs> Wait, turn, turn that way. <laughs> Put your bike up or whatever. Stand up next to me so we can talk real quick. All right, so here we are with Tina Pick back to back. How does it feel? Awesome. So, I mean, what was the strategy? Same thing as last night? We thought we'd be a little bit more aggressive, and then um, we weren't really sure who was going to go for the sprint. So um, I was going for a bunch of stuff. Teresa's like, you sprint. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> so you were the designated one. Originally, you thought it might be Teresa, and then I Teresa's guess. like, yeah, well, you reassessed it. Yeah. Come to fruition. How, so how does it feel to win? I'm going to call this your backyard, so to speak. How does it feel to win here in uh, Roswell? It's always the best. I love the Southeast, and I'm just happy I get to come back and see everyone and you know, have a great time. Great time you did. For Fearless Femme, Tina Pick, your winner here in Roswell. Stop number two, back to back. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so go get dry, and uh, Tina Pick, your winner. Wow, great race by Tina. And the Fearless Femme Racing Team. And we're going to be staging the men here in just one second. Oh, that's right. I forgot. We're now back on time. I apologize. Great racing today from Fearless Fit. Matter of fact, from all the teams. Super aggressive racing in our women's field. I love to see it happen as Team Tibco and Mellow Mushroom, everybody. Pepper Palace, Fearless Fem, all striking out to super aggressive racing and we're going to do the women's podium after the men's oh actually i think you know what we may have time to do it before the men's race and i'm sure you guys would love that Actually, Teresa, Tino, you guys, we are going to do the podium before the men's race. We will be doing the podium before the men's race. We hope to. Here come some of our kids during the kids' race. We got the biggest race of the day. It's our kids' race, our favorite race of the day. Here's our kids' race out on the course with our pro men and pro women. How awesome is that? Yep, right there. Actually, you know what? I think we're probably going to start them down there and they'll race to the finish line because we want them to have a picture at the finish line and everything. Yeah, we're probably going to start them at the crosswalk down there. We are going to do the podium presentation after our kids race. So we're going to start all of our kids right down there where that cool looking car is. Not the red one, but the one behind it. And you guys are going to race to the finish line right here. And if we can get the pace car to roll through so our kids can race, that would be awesome. Yeah, if we could have all of our kids out on the course, please, we'd appreciate it. You're going to head towards the crosswalk to my right. And to the left if you're facing the stage. And take your time, kids. We've got plenty of time here. Check that out. All 
right, so... Actually, you know what? I apologize, parents, but I've been told that the kids' race is actually going to start at the other end. That's where they're staging them. So take your time and get all your kids. So let's get the kids. If you're facing the stage, you're going to go to the right. If you're facing the stage, you're going to go to the right. Take your time, kids. We've got plenty of time. And be careful, automobiles. We do have kids coming behind you. There we go, guys. Head on down the other way. All right, so we've got our first group of kids out on the course. We need the course clear. They will run you over. <laughs> and here they come down the home stretch. And here they come. And slow down. Good job, guys. Nice and slow. Slow down. Good job. There we go. Slow down. Slow down. All right, you can keep riding nice and slow. Good job, guys. Look at all these kids out here today racing. Look at all these kids. Oh, my goodness gracious. Keep riding, guys. Keep riding. I think they're going to do two or three laps. That's my bet. Neither rain nor snow can keep these guys from racing their bicycles. And there they go. I told you they're going to do a full lap. That's a pretty much a certainty. Well, these kids are going to be tired tonight. I can guarantee you that. A full lap of the, of the Roswell Crit Course. So maybe they're going to do a full lap, whether they're two or they're 20. They got by us. I wouldn't chase after them. They're coming back around. <laughs> Once our little ones come all the way back around from a full lap, we are going to do our podium. All right, so we've got another onslaught of kids coming down the home stretch. Here they come. And there you go, guys, right at the finish line. Go nice and easy. There you go. Keep riding, keep riding. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. Slow down. You made it to the finish line safely. Whew. All right. That make you a little bit breathless there. Good job, guys. Good job. Look at all these kids. This is crazy. More kids than elite amateurs are racing in this race. Can anybody ascertain if we've got another onslaught of riders coming over? Again, guys, be just a tiny bit patient. We'll have the riders come back through in a second here. Uh, 
all the craziness of our kids racing. <laughs> Love to see all these young ones out here today. All right, so we're just about ready for our podium presentation in the women's race and our speed week overall. Right. We are just about ready for our podium presentation here. Just, just like these kids, defying the laws of physics. We are just moments away from doing our women's podium here at the Roswell Twilight Criterium. Apologies for the little bit of rain, but I know that the ladies want to go ahead and get buttoned up and ready to head to the next stop. All right, so we are we are now ready for our podium presentation in our women's race, stop number two of the USA Crit Speed Week series. 
in today's women's race in third place, racing for Team Tipco, Kendall Ryan. Yep. Uh, let me see if that's right. Nope, that's actually not right. Well, actually, if you face that way, it's right. <laughs> Second. No, actually, if you're facing that way, it's right. Yes. So face that way, Kendall. So go step on the. You didn't know you got third? You didn't know you had third? Oh, no. You got her. Evidently, according to our scoring. So hop on up there on the third spot for me. In second place, race for Team Tipco, Sam Schneider. And your winner today, racing for Fearless Film, Tina Pick. We'll make this quick, ladies, for you. Congratulations, ladies. There's your top three. Kendall Ryan, Sam Schneider, and Fearless Femmes, Tina Pick. Now we're going to do our overall speed week so that way they can get all dry. Ladies and gentlemen, in third place, racing for Pepper Palace, Christy Keeley. In second place, racing for Team Tipco is going to be Sam Schneider. And your current over, your current overall leader, racing for Fearless Femme, Tina Pick. There's your top three in U.S. Secret Speed Week right now in the overall. Congrats, ladies. So go get dry now. Thank you. Oh, the lab leader. I'm sorry. Let me see if I've got that. Laura Jorgensen. So right now, your current overall lab leader is Laura Jorgensen. I'm sorry, Laura. I didn't see it. It's at the bottom of my piece of paper here. Hop up there in the middle. It's your current overall lap leader, racing for Mellow Mushroom, Laura Jorgensen. There you go, Laura. Now go get dry. We still have one more race left to go. That race will start in about 30 minutes. So head on over the, to the Fickle Pickle and grab yourself something to drink or one of your other finer establishments, and we will be back to racing here in just a few moments. <laughs> 